I just had a good cry. And so I'm in therapy mode with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I just wanted to say, you know, I don't know if I've said it. I probably did, but I don't remember. I just don't know where those videos are. Because I had to change channels. I changed phones and lost my little card that goes in the phone. Anyway, I was going to talk about Florida back in... We were there from 2012 to 2016, I think. Somewhere around there. There were some weird things happening in Florida. That's when my husband told me, you know, well, you're not working, so turn on YouTube. Do you know what YouTube is? I didn't know what YouTube was, so I did, and I found. I don't know what the first ones were, but... Of course, it would be this community. And I think it was 2015 or 16. I opened my Bible and the red words of Jesus were like melting. I snapped it shut and I fell to my knees and I cried and I was in shock. A lot of weird things happened in Florida. The clouds were weird. There were no stars a lot of nights. Um, the house next door, you know how when those evergreen bushes, when they grow f up against a brick house, they're flat on one side? The house moved 12 inches because we could see the space between the house and the bush that was flat on one side. just the people were just walking around like zombies looking up in the sky it was just weird weird florida was weird. oh and then we moved we moved so much we moved and it was still in florida this was the east coast fort pierce we moved but that was in fort pierce this was in the tampa clearwater area where this happened we moved to a little duplex and I was cleaning. He had to leave and go to another state because his mother was sick in the hospital and a couple days later she passed away. So I was cleaning this duplex. I cleaned everything in this little washer dryer closet. Everything, I could see the ceilings, I could see everything, close the door couple hours later I go back in there and it's, there's a baby's rosary wrist rosary and it was black <laughs> hanging in there anyway we have been through some strange things he he's not gonna go on YouTube he's just not gonna do this he was a heavy machine operator he still is well we both had a stroke within six months of each other but we're recovering he was in the heavy machinery and he looked down at the grass and a three or four foot square piece of the grass he said it looked like it it, it phased in and out like it was digital you know, we have seen so many things, hundreds of things. Uh, when we were going out west, up in, I don't know what state, Washington, somewhere, somewhere out west. No, it was before Washington. We passed the, you were now entering Pacific time zone. So that sign was for when people had to set their clocks on the highway. And anyway, an hour later, we saw the same sign. I guess I try to push these Mandela effects far away in my brain, but you know, they pop up and 
here in this state, we're in up north, in the northeast. Just last week when I was at the grocery store, I was pushing my cart to put it in those little cart bins in the parking lot. And as I was pushing mine, the lady coming towards me with her cart, she said, I could have swore there were rails on this side of this too. They're gone. And I'm like, oh God. I said, well, I, I, I can't remember what I told her, but. Oh, and this wearing mask and, and, and Fauci goggle thing? Bullshit. They just want us to look like aliens with the big eyes and no mouth and no nose. You know, it's obvious. Quite a few good things have happened this past week that I've seen. You know, a van drove up, well, was parked next to me. You know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And 88888 by itself on the microwave, just going off by itself. And a lady that I was, it's, she was just an acquaintance. And we started talking about how it is nowadays. And she said, but we're not going to be here when that happens. As far as the Antichrist and the Mark of the Beast. So uh, she could be an angel. And the clouds are just so wicked looking, aren't they? Just so wicked, so wicked. And it's certainly, it did start with CERN in 2012, and now they're just totally, uh, most of them are so ugly and wicked. Oh, when we were leaving Florida, and we came up the East Coast, and we were in Maine at one point, and that was 2018. That's when I lost my tooth. Anyway, I was at one of those gas stations where you, you, know, you can buy bread or chips or coffee, whatever. So I went in and I got some coffee. It was October, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, or September. And there was a guy stocking the shelves. He looked to be about 20 or 30. And when I put my coffee on the counter, he came up to the cash register and was, you know, looking at the cash register and I was standing there and he said, I'm not real. And I said, well, I figured there were people like you around here. You know, I was trying to make a joke of it. And then he gave me my change and went back stocking shelves. That happened one other time in Florida before we left. We were in the... I forget what city in Florida, but it was at Walmart, and it was very busy, and I was in the checkout, and a, one of the managers came over to the checkout, and she said, well, we're not real. Why the hell would anybody say that? They're not real. Right? <laughs> so I'm just laying here, and I'm thinking I need to touch bases with somebody that wants the real me. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm desperately tired. I've been working too hard in this hot weather. Very tired, and I'm ready for a, a good change. The changes are still happening, and we're going through it. And so many of you like Changing Matrix and Vanessa VA and Meigs B, you know. I agree with most of what you guys say. Not everything, but we got to be going somewhere at the same place. Too many people have been left behind because, I mean, they're gone from YouTube. And they wouldn't do that. I just, I just know we're going to go to the same place. Sorry if you don't like me. I like you. And there's, I don't know, are there millions of us yet? Or just thousands? Anyway. Oh, I want to show you this over here before I say goodbye. <sighs> this 
see these behind me? These little knobs. I was speaking to somebody on the phone and he said, I think this was a couple of months ago it happened, but one of his electrical, I don't know, something electrical, these male things here, it, it turned into female. So he couldn't use his, um, his electric, I don't know what he ended up doing, but, you know, he's seen changes. Oh, so many changes. Anyway, it's going to be okay, right? It's going to be okay. Oh, and EYA. So many of you. You know I can't think of all your names, but the last thing I want to talk about is, and I only saw somebody else comment on somebody's channel and they said, Tucson, Arizona has been changed too. Well, I was just there recently about a year ago and Right in Tucson, they have a place, it's a mountain facing west from the city of Tucson and it's right outside city central and it used to be more pointier and it's called A Mountain, A for Arizona. There's a big A on it, a white A. And I know I used to live there and I could stand in my street, look at A Mountain and it was directly facing me. It's not anymore. It's facing northeast. And the A is not at this angle. It's at this angle. It's changed. Anyway. It's it's not the same earth. Chris Kaihard, is that your name? I know you keep saying it too on your channel. Yeah, I know. <sighs> but lay low on the Colin Blackbird's demons for now, okay? People can't take it. And I don't know if you can see that from here. But anyway, there's a chimney, a brick chimney. No, that was not, no, that was further towards the school building over there.